Hi there, and welcome to a new Plugin Guru quickie video. This is quickie video number 18, and it's an introduction to my new patch library for Leonard Digital's Slynth 1. It's called Malicious Slynth. So this is a library of aggressive, cool patches. We'll go through it in just a second. But first, a couple details. My name is John Limkul. I will be your tour guide. I created these patches. Along with these 90 patches, there are two video tutorials I've created for this library. It's farther than I've ever gone in a video tutorial before. The, the first one's a beginner's boot camp, So it's from ground zero. And what we do is we make three patches from scratch in Slinth. And you come along with me. That video, I'm actually gonna be posting on YouTube. So that will be coming up here shortly. The second video is getting advanced. And we take the three patches that we made right here. Check this out. The bottom of the list of all these patches are the basic base basic pad and then drum drop. Those are the patches we made in the video. So I'll show you how to set the mod wheel to LFO, all that stuff. We make a pad. I'll show you how to set the mod wheel to do that kind of stuff. And we make drum drop. This is a sound very similar to a patch that I made for the Korg Z1. So we make those three patches in the first tutorial. In the second tutorial, we take each of these and we go, so that's from the basic base to the advanced base, which is an LFO. Here's the basic pad that we made in the first video tutorial. In the advanced, we take it to this, and this is really cool. And finally, the uh, drum drop, we take it someplace quite radical. From here to a huge sweepy drop. So those patches we make in the video tutorial. So I'm not just talking about the knobs and this one makes it brighter and this one makes it darker and this changes the tuning. We're making stuff in real time together. And uh, I don't know many video tutorials that have done that. So it really gives you a good chance to get into thinking about how you make these sounds. Um, it's, it's an interesting process. Certain things grab you and you go off on that direction. And so this will hopefully help you get more into programming, not only with Slint, but these, the, the stuff you learn with Slint, you can apply to everything else that we've been looking at with uh, FM8 and Massive and all the other things. Let me show you some of these patches real quick. So we have ARPS first. Uh, I'm just gonna go through some of the highlights. So they all have distortion, mangly, weird stuff. Stuff like that. Let's get some basses real quick. Oh, here, check these out. These are really cool, the superheroes. So you can go away.
This is the minor. So I went to different waveforms and it's a minor chord. So it's more, I wanted to be more angst. So there's more distortion and. So you got that. Uh, basses, here's Bald Cat. Love this. Mod wheel makes it scream. All sorts of crazy stuff like that. Um, this is one of those where the pitch EG, since it's mono, one of the cool things with uh, pitch EGs in mono is that it only happens when you take your hands off the keys and you play a new note. So as long as you're playing legato, you don't have the pitchy G singing. That to play with. Dirty Bandy was great. Pitch bends an octave, so you can go crazy with that. This one where it's huge until you bring the module up and then it's small, so you can. Next up, here's Jekyll and Hyde. It's a great huge sine wave. Stuff like that. So there's tons of stuff hidden on the mod wheel. Like all my libraries, check the mod wheel. Cause it's uh, designed to do something. But if you play it with short notes and stuff <laughs> sloppy joe's cool <laughs> Filters, just awesome. Love the filter. There's distorted. Oh, staple gun's got a great attack. go on and on and on there's so much oh here's one of the dubstep guys right so here's a the only bell program and mod wheel Fairies dancing around. Drum stuff. Hi hats. 16th notes, different vibe. Claps. The envelopes make for great drums and stuff like that. So, in fact, I made a crunky. And, uh, Great. Uh, snares, effects, noises, gotta have all that stuff. Big THX thing for the... Oh, 
off you go. So uh, that's got. <laughs> Even these are in tune. There's so many synth libraries I've looked at work in out of tune. It's, you play the same note on five different patches and it's five different notes. And I'm like, give me a break. You're kidding me. That will never happen in my libraries. I promise. Anyway, enough said. That's not in tune. <laughs> Whining giddy pig. And this is in tune. It actually goes. It's uh, synced up, so it's pretty cool. So stuff like that. Make your faces and all stuff with that one. Oh wait, I missed one. Razzo Mangler is cool. <laughs> I found some cool things uh, to get in non-linearity in the notes. This one here actually shows it even more. Uh, pads, great pads. Isn't that nice? That's just disgusting to come from a plug-in. It's beautiful. Lost in Light, this is actually using um, self-oscillating filter resonance that's key tracked. See right here how I have key track up? And I tuned it with a cutoff so that it's in tune. Pulsers, these are cool. The brighter. Oh, Lightning Thief is one of my favorite patches. This is using super super fast lfos that slow down as the pad fades in so you got these really cool cool uh tidal surge this is the opposite direction where it starts and as it goes up, the LFLs get faster and more intense. So let's play a big chord. Great transition patch. So uh, some pulsars. You'll hear the, the compressor come back up over time in the reverb, so. Stuff like that. 
some chordy stuff. We gotta be able to play chords. And then we get to the tutorial patches, which I showed you at the beginning. And then there's a nice little, please don't give these patches away. Please buy a copy, if you haven't, of both the Slynth plugin. And that's it. One thing I should say, and we'll put this as a notice at the beginning, um, these patches will only work with the legit version of Slynth. Um, if you're using a crack, it won't work. In fact, you have to be using version 2.21 which is a beta version of Slynth. And in the video tutorial, the, the, the first basic bootcamp video tutorial, I, uh, I show you how to get that version. That is malicious Slynth. Get back over here, there it is. And here it is in the folder form, just so I can show you real quickly, check this out. Uh, smaller. Uh, there's a readme, there's a blank bank, which is helpful for a lot of people that just need a blank bank to put patches into because I found when building this, there wasn't a blank bank. And if you want to make your own set of patches from a whole bunch of different libraries or something, you have to start from somewhere. And so I put a blank bank in here to help those of you that want to build your own libraries, build a sound set you're going to send to somebody to work on for a song project or, you know, all sorts of things. Here's the patches as individual patches. Uh, cancel. All 90. And here it is as the bank that you load into Slynth. All right, that's it. So enjoy the patches, enjoy the videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in a month or so with something else. All right, thanks for being good customers. I appreciate all the support very much.